Hi, and welcome to On the Couch, Conversations with me, Brenda Porter. Today's guest is Priscilla Bird Dolan. She is uh, an actress, a director, a teacher. She is the Associate Artistic Director at the Academy Theater, and we are going to have a conversation. So, welcome. Welcome, Priscilla. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> so, before you were uh, the Associate Artistic Director at the Academy Theater, mm -hmm. which congratulations, Thank by the way. Thank you. Uh, before you became, uh, had that position, that title, mm -hmm. you started uh, at the Academy as a marketing director. Yes. Um, so, I want to talk a little bit about marketing directors. Okay. I, I don't know that there are a lot of African-American marketing directors in the city of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And so you are in a unique group of a few. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to speak with you about um, your experience, your experiences as a marketing director. So first tell me about your job. It started out in group sales. Oh. Just, yes. And I remember I was told we really would like to, for example, tap into churches. Okay. And I said, well, that's wonderful. And that's a wonderful way to get people of color into the theater. And he said, well, we're having a hard time get ch getting churches, particularly for this um, Neil Simon piece. Okay. And I said, tell me how you're going to buy it when we're looking for the pastor. You're not going to get anywhere with that. No, 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 no. And I said, no, you need the, where's the women's auxiliary? <laughs> What list the ministries, okay? Because I will go out with my women's Bible study group, my singles group, long before I go out with my pastor any day. I dug my pastor in restaurants because I just feel nervous. <laughs> Do it. Okay. And, and so uh, just teaching people how to even break down the black church into its own subgroups. Okay. was was a, a different thing and um the black community still loves the village yes and finding out who's the head of that village sometimes it's the the woman that sits on the corner of the street that sits on the front porch that just knows everybody oh yeah i got that, I got that. <laughs> my grandma was that woman she <laughs> said she knew everybody okay and so somebody would buy her ticket so that everybody else could go. Because if grandma went, everybody else could go. So um, figuring out that dynamic. And um, honestly, we still like the good old fashioned YMCAs and things mm -hmm. like social groups, as opposed to you go to your more predominantly white places, they will create a group based on we want to go see that show sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. There's still um, an entire demographic of African Americans in Atlanta that has still yet to be introduced to theater. So as a marketing director, how mm -hmm. do you find those groups and reach out to them? Or is that the problem? Well, one of the problems is my budget. <laughs> <laughs> Because what I would love to do is, is go to certain areas and say, here, have this. Mm. And that's what happened to me. I didn't pay for my first show. Someone else did. But it made me fall in love with it. And then whenever I got a few dollars, okay, this is what I do with my disposable income. I would rather um, just go out and, and let people be exposed to it without insulting the artist that created the work. And as soon as you figure that out, you come let me know. <laughs> I, I will. So speaking of young people, mm -hmm. we're almost out of time. So my last question to you, um, though it may be not our last statement, right. our last, my last question is to you is, what would you recommend to young upcoming um, talent mm -hmm. that want to explore marketing um, and particularly African-American mm -hmm. that aren't getting into theater. They might be going to 
uh, CNN and trying to do some work with them. But in terms of theater, what would you recommend to them? Oh, that's such a weird question. Because what would I say to someone getting into marketing and then getting into marketing and theater? Because marketing is, is business. And I would tell any young person of color, know your business. Find people that you trust, that you can put in a room, close the door, and use as a sounding board. And once you leave that room, you're not brainstorming anymore. Mm -hmm. Know when you're talking out loud just to talk, and know when it's time to put on your game face. Because everyone in business isn't your friend. They're not your enemy. But everyone isn't out here to have lunch with you and have fun and, and hang out. Know when it's time to close your mouth because you are not talking to your friend anymore. Um, but I value my sounding board because the first 15 narratives I come up with are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. They weren't made for public consumption. <laughs> Okay, I remember talking to a photographer asking me, how do you have such beautiful pictures? And she said, well, you didn't see the first 300. Okay. 